What is going on, guys? Having over at Lake Bros coming back to you with another video today. This one is all Star Wars. $335 is what I paid for this one. Uh, we are coming at you on a very windy day, so if you hear some background noise, that is uh, my house blowing down <laughs> by the big bad wolf. Uh, we do have some instructions. I have two sets in here, which I don't usually do any used sets, but it looks like these are pretty complete and uh, and whatnot. I'm guessing they probably just wanted them for the figs. I'm not 100% sure. So it looks like two of those little Republic fighter tanks, uh, 75342. We'll get those out of the way, because nobody cares about that. We're here for the figs. Star Wars is so expensive to acquire nowadays, it is just absolutely ridiculous. But hopefully we got some good stuff in here uh, to make up for that cost that we ended up paying. And uh, we'll find out. <laughs> we will find out. Here is a bunch of instructions, or not instructions, uh, accessories. And uh, also it looks like the Porg, Santa Porg, and the Snowman from an advent calendar which is kind of neat. We do have the Mando Loyalist, which would have been a great figure other than the UK making a uh, poly bag out of that one, which was kind of unfortunate. Uh, we do have a Death Watch Mando who is in terrible, terrible coloring condition. So that's gonna be a nothing. We'll use his jetpack and his helmet though. Uh, that's for sure. And I think the reason that I got this one is because I think this is that super rare just making sure the markings are all correct. Yep, looks like it. This is the super rare harder plastic kit Fisto. They did change this. A little known fact is they changed the mold of this uh, because the one was so weak, I'm guessing, and it was just terrible. Uh, and so this one is a harder rubber, not as soft as a normal kit Fisto helmet or headpiece. And you can see it's a little bit more shiny. Uh, and that's what it looked like in the pictures as well. So that is fantastic. I don't know exactly the difference in value, but you can see it doesn't wear down quite nearly as much as the other one. Uh, I, I thought this was fake in the beginning when I first got one of these, uh, but it actually is a variant that they ended up doing uh, a little bit later on because that mold was so terrible uh, in the beginning. So kind of fun fact there. We do have an Athorian here. I think I forgot to do my intro. Stores.ebay.com slash like where you can find this kind of stuff. Uh, whatnot, $10 off in the description if you've never used Whatnot before as well, using that link in Athletic Greens uh, down there too. We do have a Wampa with one horn, so we're gonna have to put another horn on there, but that is a great figure too. That was the Athorian. I think I said that already. Uh, we do have the Black Cape Barris, which I think is her more valuable form. Uh, I'd have to look that up. Haven't sold her in a while. We do have the new version of the Phase 2 Gunner. Old version obviously being more desirable than the new one, but it is still cool. It's still a clone. We also have the Mortar Trooper, which is another new clone. A lot of these are going to be the new clones. It's kind of a newer collection, which I don't usually specialize in, but, uh, you know, when in Rome, <laughs> you see it, sometimes you buy it. Uh, here's one of our 187th Airborne from the uh, Republic tank that we just had right there. Uh, here is another one of them. I'm guessing his helmet is somewhere around here. Uh, I'm guessing we'll have four of these, or should we have four of these or six of these? Two Airborns and two things in each, right? So six total uh, is what we should have of the 187th, unless they kept some for themselves. I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll have to see what we end up with here. Uh, where's a purple helmet? Purple helmet. There we go. Purple helmet. Purple, purple, purple. Uh, I'm guessing that these legs maybe go on the airborne ones. Something to that effect would be my guess, it looks like. Uh, and then along with the 187th, we also have the 212ths, which are all of the new uh, 212ths there too. We also have an Ahsoka Trooper. What is that, 387th? I don't know, I always I always get them confused. Uh, all of the all, all of the things, all of the, the units are so hard to remember. It's just like the uh, astromech numbers. It's like, really? I'm not, I'm not gonna remember that. We also have our phase two Cody who got produced like crazy, uh, reducing his value, unfortunately, but it's still a really cool fig uh, and still deserves the ting pile for sure because everyone wanted a phase two Cody for so long and they finally got it. <laughs> uh, this one. Looks like we might have a discrepancy in helmet. Did I put an orange one on a purple guy? No, doesn't look like it. Here's a, oh, there it is. There's that helmet. Is there a purple guy missing a helmet too, though? That's the question. Uh, purple guy? Oh, oh, he was hiding. He was hiding. There we go. Uh, so it looks like uh, the ATTE, and then we also had the... Uh, Ahsoka clone one, and then we also had two of the um, Republic fighter tanks. I'm guessing these torsos, so those are all the same. I'm guessing these legs go on the two airborne, so we might as well switch those so I don't forget to do that 
oops, I don't forget to do that later. I need to take these two, no wait, these two off. Oh my gosh, this is difficult for me. <laughs> this is more difficult than it should be. Here we go. Here we go. You guys always want me to build figs live. Here we go. <laughs> these are all in like fantastic brand new condition as well because they pretty much are brand new. Uh, which is always good too. I don't have to worry about torso cracks and all that kind of stuff. You'd be surprised. Sometimes you do get new things and you do have to worry about that, but these look like they're in great condition. They don't smell bad or anything like that, which is always good. Uh, what else do we have here? We have our Mace Windu that of course came with that set uh, and another Mace Windu that came with that set too. Uh, so two of those, those are kind of meh. Uh, we do have, I don't remember, it's just, it's not, I don't think it's Akbar. I don't think it's Nadar. Maybe it is Nadar uh, or it's just a Mon Calmari kind of dude uh we do also have mon mothma who's gone up like quite a bit actually that's the only mon mothma fig there is so uh if you want mon mothma that's that's the one you gotta get we also have gar saxon which is one of the better figs hopefully they do not make him in a poly bag because he is one of the cooler figs i think that is one of the investment figs that people will really be into just because he looks so cool and usually when it's just a one-off character, if they like never made Gar Saxon again, this thing will go up in investment no matter what, because it's black and red and it has horns and it's a Mandalorian. Give me a break. <laughs> come, come on. Uh, some things you just know. Some things you just know. Uh, here's the new General Veers with the goggles. That is a fantastic fig as well. Uh, we also have our... Um... Oh, why can't I think of her name right now? Oh my gosh. Uh, it's on the tip of my tongue. I know what it is. It's just one of those things that your brain's like, nope, you forgot. Sorry. <laughs> I'll think of it in a second. Uh, we're seeing her now on uh, The Mandalorian. And um, wow. I keep thinking in my head, my head keeps saying Sabine, 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 which is wrong. Uh, and which is, I, which is why I can't think of the actual name. Uh, yeah. I know what it is, but my brain doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> There's Finn. Uh, we do have one of the Imperials. Some of these Imperials are actually pretty good. Uh, just have to depend on which set it comes from. Uh, another one of these, this one could be, I think this is not the 75155 one. I think this is the newer one, but still like 10 bucks uh, on that guy, no matter what. We do have General Grievous here as well. Bo-Katan. There we go. Got it. Uh, once you have, once you stop thinking about it, then you can. Uh, missing two of his arms, which is unfortunate, but uh, I will be able to make one of those as well. So General Grievous, that's about 30 bucks right now as well. Uh, we do also have IG-11 right here. And IG-11, I don't remember what his value is. I haven't had him in quite some time. Uh, we also have the Mando, which obviously they've made a billion of. This one, I think, is the um, driver from the Vader's Castle set, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe it's not. I don't know. That's going to be research for me. I don't know which one exactly that one. We can put both these guys in tanks there. They can be tanks. Uh, we have the Ewok that was from the Ewok Village and was really, really good because it had the face printing, and then they remade him uh, in a couple sets, which was sad. This one I'm going to have to hide from my daughter because <laughs> uh, she has wanted one of these with the helmet, uh, and that's one of the first ones that I've gotten. I don't get new things very often, so, you know, ultimately... Uh, some of the things that she sees in like catalogs, I just don't get because they're not retired yet. Uh, we do also have an Ahsoka and, oh, maybe it was Mon Calamari, uh, Officer and Akbar. Hmm. Oh yeah, because Mon Mothma's in here. That would make sense, right? That would make sense. Uh, we do also have a Tauntaun with Bridal and both of his horns, which is great. Uh, here's actually another of the Gunners, two Gunners. We have the Advent Calendar Darth Vader with that Death Star sweater. Awesome. Give it a couple years. I'm sure that one will uh, appreciate as well. We do also have Poe Dameron with the BB-8 sweater. Won't appreciate as much as the Darth Vader, I don't think, but it's still a cool fig. Olive Skin Yoda, hidden little gem right there. Uh, a lot of people just pass that over, but it sells pretty well. <laughs> it does sell pretty well. Here's Han Solo from the Hoth set as well that that Tauntaun probably came out of. Uh, we have the new version of Boba Fett and a Death Star Trooper. Uh, Death Star Trooper, this one actually could be the one that is, no, I think the one with the goggles is the one that's worth the most. It was about 10 bucks or whatever. Uh, we have Dirt Stains Obi-Wan. The Anakin I know is good. I'm not sure about the Obi. The Anakin now has become up to like, uh, what, 15 bucks or something like that for the Dirt Stains Anakin. Not sure about the Obi-Wan though. Uh, we also have Snow Covered Chewbacca, which is kind of a neat little uh, uh, version of him, I guess you'd say. I think that one's from the Advent Calendar, if I'm not mistaken. Not sure of the value of that one though. I uh, haven't gotten in enough because it's too new. We also have Leia with the long robes, the newer long robes. That's a pretty good fig, about 10 to 15 bucks as well. Uh, we have 
no, no, I'm trying to think of his name. Oh my gosh, names are hard. <laughs> I just filmed a Ninjago video on going back to uh, to Star Wars is is difficult. Uh, it's yeah, it's that guy, the the leader of the the country now, uh, or not country, but the town, the city. Uh, this one I think is Wedge and Tilly. Did they make him in two sets? I thought that was only from the um, Attack on Hoth UCS set, but maybe they made him in two sets. Maybe that's why that one's not as valuable as the other one is. Uh, we also have a Jet Trooper here as well. I don't know, I was hiding Crispy Anakin in my hand. <laughs> Saving him for later or something like that. Not bad, not bad. It's Star Wars, so what can you expect? We got two sets and uh, a whole bunch of figs. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Anyways, comment below what your favorite of today was. Hopefully you guys are having a great rest of your day, and uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.